No, 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 espera, mira. No. <risa> ¡Ah, corre, corre! No pasa nada. ¿Quieres que te lo quite? No, no. Ok. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Estás las pilas o qué? ¿Vamos a cambiarte la ropa? Sí. Vamos. ¿Oh? ¿Qué pasa? Te mojaste, Mari. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo lloraste? ¿Cómo lloraste? ¿Nos cambiamos la ropita? Vamos. Oye. ¿Cómo te mojaste? ¿Lloraste? My full name is Ulises Alejandro Dávila Plasencia. I'm from Mexico, from Guadalajara. I think around 12, 13, my father started to push me hard. Like, okay, you are good, you have to be better. And I think he started to put high standards on me. So I was like, okay, let's, let's try to, to, to be the best. Chivas asked me to go to the academy. She's the, one of the biggest clubs in Mexico, if not the biggest one. So from there, we really started to think, ah, maybe. When I was in high level in Europe, I didn't enjoy too much. I went back to Mexico, and I think in Mexico, I just hate football. Davila almost inevitably! What a strike from Ulysses Davila! When we came to, to Wellington, to New Zealand. Ulysses Davila with his first in the A-League. This environment helped me a lot to, to just calm down. Lily was pregnant in that moment. Yeah, it was a, a beautiful experience there. Lily we went back to Mexico to have Uli, and I stay in Wellington because exactly in that month, in March, the, co the COVID was starting. So if I go and then I cannot come back, it's a big problem. I, I remember I was training. I take my phone and I have, yeah, Uli board as Lily was, was hulking him. So yeah, I meet Uli like this in, <laughs> in FaceTime, you know? Couple of days after, I flew to Mexico. It's the best moment of, of my life when I was with Uli and with her there. I met Lily when I was 18, she was 17. And then, yeah, we came in, in relation like one year later. When I moved to Europe, we say, look, I love you, you love me, but maybe it's not the moment. We finished the relation for, for three years. And then when I go back to Mexico, uh, we get engaged. A couple of months later, we, we get married. She went to marry in, in the beach. She always was obsessed with the ocean, with the beach. year ago, she started to have some seizures. The ambulance came, came for her. They say like, we need to do a, a big, big scan and, and everything around her, her brain. And we find like, there's some issues in the brain. And everyone was say like, your problem is big problem, but we don't know what to do. You have to get a surgery or or radiotherapy, or maybe nothing, but you can have an hemorrhage brain in any second. That day started the, the nightmare for, for us, like a family. <laughs> so she said, like, do everything, please. Find someone, find someone to help me to, to fix my problem. I don't want to live like this. <laughs> and then 
we find some some doctor in Mexico. He said, like, look, it's a big risk, big, big risk. We can have 50, 60% of success, but the other 40, I don't know what, what can happen. She had a lot of faith and that she will be fine. Yeah. And a couple of days after, yeah, she, she, she went to the hospital. She was awake after the surgery, but the swallow got bigger and bigger and bigger. And in one moment, they decided, like, we need to put Lily, we need to put Lily in coma. Yeah, all that week in the, in the hospital, in the home, I just, I just stopped there, like, I give you my life, you know. Take my life, no problem. Take whatever you want. My legs, my life, but just keep it alive. My kid one day will need his mom. I don't care, like, take my life off. I don't give a fuck my life. Keep her alive, she's so good. And... Yeah, the doctor called me around five in the morning saying, like, I need to make another surgery. Three days after, they just told me, like, that she had that, she had a dead brain. I, I have to decide what, <laughs> what to do, what to do with Lily, what to do with her life. <laughs> I have to make the hardest decision in my life. So yeah. We, We decide that she cannot live with that. Oye, jugamos fulo, la playa. Quieres caminar con papi? Un beso, papi. After all this, all that process, Uli was angry. I think he, he was thinking, like, maybe mom leave us. Una piedra? We have to do something to make sure the kid understand that his mom is in one place. <laughs> so in Mexico, I built a small altar. It take Uli again. Mom does, doesn't go. Away, doesn't leave us. Mommy's here. Straight away, he start to cry. Mommy, no, mommy, no. <laughs> oh, mommy. Obviously, after that, I say every day we will come and give a kiss to mommy. We will bring you some flowers. You will bring some flowers to mommy, so she will be happy. Una, dos, tres, mommy. Couple of days after, he was a different kid again, like happy, playing, you know, and. Every morning we walk. Mommy, put one flower, two, three flowers. Take Lily's picture. Mommy, good morning, buenos dias. You can see he understand the big picture, so. Yeah. No, I say he's a strong boy. Así que entonces, ah, no te va a dejar hacer nada de la doña, ¿da? No, yo la lo, lo voy a cocinar todo. Hey. ¿Te quedó ya bueno o no? Ya lo puse. Ya no. Es... A puro limoncito. After all this, to be honest, I didn't care about football at all, you know, was the last thing in my head. Oh, oh. 
¡Corre, corre! ¡Corre! ¿Está corriendo el bebé? I'm talking with my parents, my father said, like, you have to go back and play football. I said, you're crazy, man. I cannot go back. Los frijoles ya están tan bien. I cannot take care of the kid and play football. I cannot go training. Las tortillas no, todavía no hasta que esté la carne, si no luego se enfrían. My mom and him was there and said, like, we already talked last night, so just to let you know, mom is here 24 hours for you. If you want to go back, she will go with you and take care of Uli. Al de asada te le pongo un poquito de frijolitos, se le unto un poco de frijolitos. Then with his eye, like, okay, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> and get back, get back to Australia. Hoy Uli necesita que su papá y su mamá lo ayuden en esa situación y lo hacemos con mucho gusto. Pero el nene más porque está en su plena etapa de crecimiento, entonces bueno hay que estar ahí. Pero el no tener a Lili con nosotros a mí. Aunque no, así, aunque no es mi hija, no era mi hija, pero yo la quería como mi hija. Chica, siempre fue muy dedicada como mamá, como esposa, como amiga, como todo. Este, creo que excelente, excelente persona, ¿no? en general. Es, ¿Cómo ha sido? Eh, difícil. Difícil, pero bueno, es lo que nos toca vivir ahora. <laughs> MacArthur came, they offered us uh, a, good, a good contract, the three years contract. I spoke with MacArthur, I feel like they have a, a good project. Yeah, we can create something good in this club. Uli Davila scores and MacArthur will be lifting the 2022 Australia Cup. It's just great that we we won the, the trophy for the club, for everyone. Tonight is MacArthur FC's night. 2022 Australia Cup champions. I receive a lot of love, a lot of support from the club. It was like, it's, it's a way to say thanks, you know. MacArthur FC have the first trophy in their club history. Papi. I walk in, I walk in this morning, guess what he's doing, bro? Straight away, I walk in. No, I wasn't complaining. He's complaining. No, I wasn't complaining. Again. No, I wasn't complaining. Well, he's been a, um, someone that I've looked up to and someone that's really put his arm around my shoulder and looked, looked out for me. He doesn't bring any of that sadness and that anger and hurt that he must be feeling. He doesn't bring that into the change rooms or into the team at all. He brings a lot of positivity and he's an incredible person to be around. And considering everything that he's been through, I think it's, it's remarkable. I was waiting for you yesterday, bro. Why are you there a message, Papa? I don't know. Why was you... Because I don't know if you're busy or not. He brings this sense of, of love to the game and, and to the football club. When, when he's around, you just... You gravitate to him. No, no, but like, don't, don't, don't get like, how do you say, impatient, impatient, or frustrating, you know? Gloria. You know, seeing Lily at every game, <laughs> we we thought he he didn't have that, he didn't have that support anymore. But but we're, we're thankful that he saw the support in us, and again, so grateful that he's decided to come back. That's for sure to see someone's leadership skills and qualities and a man. No one compares to a leader. Thank you. Thanks. Bill. How are you? Hey, relax. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Mom will come, Mel, with Uli. I told her. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Come on, boys. Come on. 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 We need to step up today. We need to grow up. We need to be a fucking man. We need to show in the pitch. So we we will play for fucking or or fucking pride or family pride or the fucking club uh, pride. So we have to do everything today to win. We have to. Everyone has to do a little bit better. Starting for me, but we have to do a little bit better. And we, we will win, boys. We let's fucking match the energy. A lot of fucking hunger to to win this game and believe we are fucking good players. Let's play. Let's enjoy. It's a good day. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Welcome to Campbelltown Stadium in Dharawal country for this clash between MacArthur FC and Wellington Phoenix. And the home side, they could do with a bit of sharpening of their horns of late. They're without a win in four. Last weekend against the league leaders, Melbourne City, they suffered the heaviest defeat in their club's history. Well, a first big challenge for Mile Sturzhovski is how to pick his side up after that 6-1 loss to Melbourne City. It's Ulysses Davila who will be wearing the captain's armband for the Bulls this afternoon. And we are underway. Come on, Jed! Mile Sturzhovski. Jed, strong guy there, come on! Just match number three for him alongside... Jedi! Anthony Crea. Win the ball, Jed! Jed, win the ball! Payne, back with Laws. And that's a great ball over the top. That can't happen, man. And the chance for Crea! How, how does that happen? And it's a worst possible start for MacArthur. Happen? One long ball. And a perfect start for Wellington Phoenix. There you go. Here's Davila. Tricky little customer. Davila. Oh, brilliant for Muli Davila. Holly well Sale won't want to see it again too many times. Mille, get the clip and say, see what happens when you get the ball to Uli? Yeah. Just get the ball to Uli. Get him to clip that if he hasn't already, please. Uli Jr. celebrates on the hill, and Davila, he's the one they look to when they're struggling to lead them out of the mire. And he's done so again here. I just give him the ball. It's another corner for the visitors. A head up from Laws. Holman. Ball. Flat. No, 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 no. And no way. There's no chance. Says Ali Reza Fagani. No way. Curto. Like Willie Davila. His former Wellington Phoenix. Now up against his former club. But what would I was going to do that? Come on, Phil. Please. provide a special moment here or will it be Oscar Zavada's afternoon it's saved by Curto the follow-up Zavada well oh, done Phil attack. well done son super safe Phil well done good job and well played Philip Curto well done Phil cometh the hour cometh the man and Philip Curto has stood tall hasn't he have a think about what you want to do for what's his name for oh, oh, you ready him go look at this look at this forward are they serious Oh my god! Get it down this fucking end! Now, Wellington are asking for another VAR. Little look at this one. Pagani says, yeah. second penalty. Are we kidding? In as many minutes. Are we fucking joking? Well, what drama. It's Jan Sass who has the football, the Brazilian. The cowbells worked just a couple of minutes ago. And the din is even greater now. Curto went left the first time, goes right. 
It's a mirror image. It's a double penalty save from Philip Curto. And MacArthur stay on level terms. Well, don't you just love this game of football? It is remarkable. You can't write scripts like that, Robbie Thompson. Just incredible. Milo Sturjowski, welcome to senior coaching. What an entertaining first half of football. It's been, it comes to a close. MacArthur won, Wellington Phoenix won. No, no, okay. Yeah. Boys, let's see if we can get the ball to Lily as much as possible. He's in good pockets at, uh, a lot of the time. Play these little short passes. There's so many times when, when you two have the ball and it's just, there's a short pass, just to shift him and then we can break one. And Lily's getting to some really good pockets. Play it and then get it again. Don't feel like your job's done once you've passed the ball. Where can I get it again? Boys, I'm like a big second. Come on, 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 come on,
I think like I will kick it straight to the middle and they say no, I cannot be so pussy. Hey, I already gave you one. I can't give you two, man. Fucking <laughs> hell. It's only 90 minutes when I don't, I don't think in here. Oh, sometimes when 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 the things are hard in the pitch, I think when when we were suffering, you know, in the in the hospital. Yeah, it's it's my distraction this this green area to be honest. To score that goal, probably happy happy for that, but ah, I miss the pen so. <laughs> I will punish myself this night a little bit more. Go, go, go. What I will say to Lily, just thank you. Thank you for, for making me a better person. Uh, I think a good father uh, to give, to try to give my best every day. So thanks for being with me. I know you are every day with me, by my side and inside. So. Just thanks. Every time she was waiting for me, I'm playing with William, watching me. The green area. She's still here. Quieres un gol? Quieres un balón? Ven, abraza papi, la solicito. Un besito chico. Keep being brave. Be, be kind and be happy, you know. And I'm trying every day to stay like this. Keep the game away, and was kind of told I wasn't good enough to play in the A League. CDFC offered me an, an 18 month deal, it just reignited my, my love and passion for the game. That moment against Peru culminated seven years of setbacks. And Redmayne makes the save. It's a save that means the world to Australia. It was after the second penalty, I, I noticed he had his kind of notes bottle. It kind of went against almost every moral fibre in my body to, to kind of sabotage someone like that, but anything to get Australia to a World Cup. That's a big water bottle. Kept it as a memento.